this is magnificent. Oh my god. So I'm gonna do menu today. Bonjour, today is Monday, March 14th. I am here at Parc National de la Jacques Cartier. I am already blown away. Um, absolutely stunning. It's a minus seven degrees, feels like minus seven. Perfect weather, no wind. Um, so right now we are on Chemin de la Vallée, which will take us only like 300 meters and then that will take us to the Sentier Les Loups which is, I think, 11 kilometers loop. Um, yeah, so there's all different things. You, you know, there's snowshoe routes, there's ski routes, and then there's winter hiking routes. So this is the winter hiking route. All she asked me was at the uh, Centre de Découverte, do you have crampons? And I was like, yep. And uh, yeah, so I have a feeling this is gonna be a long video because of the stunning scenery. Um, so, so get yourself a Christina's Cabin coffee and uh, settle in. I would just like to say that I, I could spend my whole week here. Like there are enough trails. I just might do that. So the original plan was to spend the week at my cabin. The secondary plan was to spend <clears throat> half the week basically here visiting my friend um, Eric and then going to my cabin, spending a few days at my cabin. But now I'm thinking of just staying here. Oh my God. This is like, I can't get over it. <laughs> All right, it's been 2.4 kilometers to get to this point. So it's four more kilometers just to get to the trail? Hmm. Okay, that's okay. Is it? I don't know. All right, so it was not four kilometers to get to the to the trail here it is that was only like 500 meters yay <laughs> um okay so let's start and here's the part i love and why i chose it très difficile yay by the way i'm, I'm just waiting here just to create some space between me and those two um, hikers. Um, but by the way, I just want to mention, you know, during my, if I was feeling really down, there was also a bunch of little things that were, you know, like my boots, you know, my brand new winter hiking boots were all like uh, damaged and the stitching coming out and I couldn't use them. And that cost me, like that affected my hiking. And then also I had purchased a pair of $50 outdoor research, an extra pair of gloves, just in case something happened to my first pair. And uh, huh, I lost the, the one glove of the new pair the first time I went to use them. So I was really upset about that. Well, guess what? I found it. I found it as I was leaving for this trip. So I was like, that is an awesome omen that it's gonna be a wonderful trip that the you know, the darkest days of the winter blues are behind me. And uh, yes, yeah. So anyway, just wanted to share that. I think there's enough space. Let's go. Now I was debating bringing my um, <clears throat> my snowshoes for this oops, for this hike and uh, I'm glad I didn't because as you can see the snow banks on either side are quite high and the path is quite narrow so I'd be like clinking and kicking 
you know, uh, my own shoes together, it would have been not favorable. Um, although this is marked as a snowshoe trail. Anyway, no. Crampons are the way to go. And, yeah, I'm wearing my yak tracks. However, I do have a pair of yet unused um, crampons in my bag, in my backpack, that are a little more meaty. Um, but I saw a pair at the Centre de Découverte there that were even meatier. I feel like not using these and then buying those ones I just saw. Um, yeah, I always have a backup of everything. Yeah, my packing policy is kind of like not much, but two of everything. So anyway, that's it. Yeah, I needn't have uh purposely created space between me and the next people because I'm slow. I stop and take a million photos and videos. Um, but anyway, look, I'm in a t-shirt. It's just, it's that nice. It's so beautiful. I'm over the moon right now. Over the moon. Ooh. It's always hard to show the, uh, how steep some of these inclines are. Oh, but I'm gonna have to stop filming because, oh my God, because I'm sliding back. Thank you, tree. Oh my God. Just keeps going up. Came from down there. I am precariously perched here. And up we go. I understand now why the only question the lady at the Centre de Découverte asked me was, do you have crampons? Only question she asked. I totally get it. I may have to use these, uh, the extra pair I have on me. Even though I don't want to, I might have to. big chunk of snow came down. Okay, I gotta stop filming. Yes, you can see where this big chunk of snow fell from right there and there's another piece ready to go. So let's hope that doesn't happen as I pass through. Yeah, I didn't notice the rope on the side, so that, that really helped. All right, came from down there. Stunning views up here. Came around there. And more rope there. More rope, more incline, of course. It's so slippery. even though I'm starting to get worried about time because I'm not even halfway up and it's already like 1230 or something and the park closes at 430 apparently but still let's go see this lookout point oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god are you
so the issue is how do I leave now <laughs> like oh my god how do I leave I think I'll put my coat back on soon because uh, the higher I go, the windier it seems to be getting. It's not windy, it's just there's a cool breeze. Um, also, I cannot wait to see the uh, elevation map that Relive makes for me once I'm done this uh, hike because, wow. Ooh, oh my God. Shoot. Whoopsie. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to the summit. So I am back to a uh, full jacket done up because when the sun goes away, which it's away, yeah, you can feel that uh, Christmas crispness in the air. It's minus five right now. You know, no wind, but like I said, just that breeze and some blowing snow just from being so high up. Yeah, this has been absolutely spectacular and incredible. And oh, yes, I definitely want to come back and do some of the other trails as well. So anywho, let's keep going. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The route through here is absolutely stunning, like totally different than the, uh, the rest of the hike up to this point. I know I've, I've learned in, you know, from editing other videos that whatever. A few seconds, that's all you need. And people get it, even me, myself, reliving it. I'm like, oh yeah. But it's so hard to not just film everything because like, I just can't get over it. I'm freaking out. I am basically freaking out about how beautiful this place is. And silent, like no one's come from behind me. I'm certainly going very slow. So certainly if someone came behind, you know, after me, they'd have passed me. So it is a Monday, I, I know. Anyway, lucky me. And that's another reason to perhaps stick around and take advantage of these, these weekdays where, um, there's, where there's not a lot of, or no people here. Was in the moon of winter time when all the birds had fled. The mighty Gitchy Manitou sent angel choirs instead. Before their light, the stars grew dim, and wandering hunters heard the hymn. La 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 la. La 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 Can't be much further now, Papa Smurf. Okay. 
I just passed that couple, the only other couple people I've seen on the trail, and here we are. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out, I know it. All right, I didn't freak out because that other lookout point sort of like stole the show or like, you know, it was like a, what do you call that? When you give away the ending to a movie, it was a spoiler. But you can't call, <laughs> you can't call a thing about this a spoiler. Um, so here I am at the summit. Oh, I should have checked my time, one sec. All right, so it's a uh, 1.19 p.m. Um, it took me two hours and 43 minutes to get here, like from my car to here. Uh, and from my car to here, 6.8 kilometers. So no problem. I'll be faster going back because I won't take as many pictures or video. I, I hope I won't. I won't. Um, so yeah, it'll be faster going back. And that's it. Yeah, this has been incredible. Park. National de la Jacques Cartier. Anyway, let's head back. By the way, there is an 80% chance of snow starting at 2 p.m. So that'll make for a beautiful trip back. But it also means I should get going. So <clears throat> it's just so hard to leave that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll be faster because I won't be like lallygagging the way I did on the way to the summit. But also, you know, there was a full snowfall yesterday. So um, although it's a fa fairly groomed trail, there was the fresh snowfall on it. But then that couple packed it down and I packed it down and then they've packed it down again on the way out. So that's three times packed down. So I'm sure it'll also be easier for that reason. At least that's what I'm hoping. All right, we're gonna do this uh, at the bottom there. Sentier Les Loups, Boucle Vieux Maubeche. So that it's not, we came from, from that way. We went up and did the summit. And now we'll go back that way. So although this section, this Mobeche trail that we're taking to, to loop around back to Les Loups is not as scenic, um, yeah, it makes up for it in the dead silence and the vast, you know, you can see, um, like the, so you can see all the white, like, I don't know, it's lovely in its own way. All right, let's go check this lookout out. So the view is partially blocked from some like 
fog over there, but but still beautiful, obviously. Yeah. All right. I'm hoping to get back before 4.30 as well because I want to go to the gift shop. Um, and they have a coffee stand there, so. Um, the other thing too, obviously I'll be faster because of the decline. I just thought that was too obvious to say. Anywho, let's go. So this is the way I need to go. Um, no one has been on this path since the last snowfall, so that'll add a bit of challenge, but that's okay. Actually, I'm turning back. I just fell. Um, I just fell in as deep as uh, like my entire leg. So, nope. All right, so we'll go to this parking lot for uh, Les Tang Mobesh and I don't know, figure it out from there. One last look before we go. I did all that rushing to try and make it back to the uh, Centre de Découverte before 4.30 so I could get a coffee and shop around their gift shop and it closes at four. <laughs> My bad. Um, anyway, the washrooms are open, so I'm going to visit those before leaving this amazing park. sweet home. So fantastic day. Um, I'm thrilled to have become acquainted with that park. Um, I am busy the next couple of days and then we'll see. We'll see if I will return to that park or if I will make my way to my cabin. <clears throat> Time will tell. Anywho, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive. I'm doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in 12 years and one month. See you in the next video.